smelly bombs. Oh, the stinky bombs. Oh no, there's a prawn in there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome again, ladies and gents. Dave here. Um, we are on a Saturday. Um, it's pack up time, and I'm just going to do a quick. I haven't recorded shit all this week because between the floods and like the chaos that I had this week, it's been fucking crazy. So I'm going to show you where we're up to, the little extras that we've done. Um, where we're up to with the, the data and especially the lighting. The lighting's a big one that's changed this week. I've got a fair bit done in the operating rooms too, so a lot of power stuff. Uh, it's roughed into a point. Uh, I've, I've still got to do a lot of... Um, I've got to do some metal conduit and different things for to protect my non-RCD protected cables and there's a bunch of other shit in there, so that, that's going to be its own little video on its own. So I'll flip you around and we'll have a little wander. We might start up in the data room. So yeah, look at that teleportation. Fucking add that to my list. Alrighty. So that's where we're at. Got the temple light in here. Fucking super temporary permanent job. All right, so we've all seen this before. It's very nice and neat. I can hashtag cable porn. Hashtag not my job, thank God. All right, so basically there's a bunch of cables coming in from this side, they're hooping over and down, and there's gonna be a rack there. And then a lot of these cables are from this level. So everything out on, on this floor, they come up on that tray and they're hooping around this way and doing a little mirrored symmetrical look by uh, the data monster Steve. So, little side view. Uh, run out of tray on the other side, so we put these uni strut, like half size uni strut things, just to tie the cable to and give the tray a bit more support. The tray was getting pretty saggy, you know, some old man ball saggy. So, yeah, but this is looking really nice. Um, I'll have to put the flash through on. So, this is the UPS room. Um, there's a couple extra bundles here that have got to go up and get worked out. So I think at the moment the plan was they're going to be in the wall, um, in the um, in the cavity. So they're probably going to go up and maybe punch through that hole there, like get into the ceiling and punch through the hole there, and then go around on the tray. And they're going to be on the far the far set of racks. All right. So all the security's finished on the job now oodles and oodles of cable um, the security panels so th th they've come up through like one of these um, core holes that we had in the cavity and the security panels they're going to get mounted here somewhere so um, yeah and I've also done a layout of this room so the UPS room we've obviously got all the feeds coming up um, they're a little bit long but I wasn't 100% sure how this room was going to work out got the sub mains in for the UPS as well uh, we've just got to get one more um, 16 mil multi-core into this room and then uh, then we're good to roll so thinking there's a bit that needs to happen in this room before we can do any more in it like all the walls obviously need to be sheeted um, we're going to try and get another stud on here just for a little bit extra space in the in the cavity because we've got so much crap going in there and um, yeah so we'll probably have some tray along the wall here and then um, like on the ground down low like a horizontal piece and then the switchboards are going to go here and here and here I think that gives us some room um, we can put the bypass switches on the back and then the UPS sets can just sit over here there's a big boy UPS system and two battery packs for the power and then there's a smaller like a, a much smaller, it's like a quarter of the size UPS system for the lights and two battery packs for it too, which are quite little as well. So they'll they'll easily fit on this wall and then, uh, sorry, well, no, what we were going to do, we're going to have the, it was board, 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 there's three UPS boards and then the two bypass switches and the auto and the isolation transformer at the back. Sorry, my apologies. I'll, I'll clip, I'll clip in magic. I'll clip in that, um, 
that silly drawing that I've done to scale, mind you. Pretty fucking engineerific. All right, so all of this, nothing new in here. The mechanical fellas have been doing a lot of steel work in here. I haven't really had a look in, but like all, all this here is new. All these ducts here are new. All getting into the handler unit, so like this room's Swim looking loot really different actually. I haven't been in here at all. Yeah, so it doesn't really have much to do with me. Um, there's a couple of mechanical boards that are supposed to go here, here and here, but um, I need 100% confirmation before I'm ordering any cable for that. So yeah, I think we'll um, we might do a little and we'll disappear back downstairs because there's really oh we'll, we'll check out the main switch room. I don't think I don't think there's too much more in here but we'll see oh, flip around again. okay so what are we got in here oh yeah so we just did we did the the rest of the tray up the wall there we've done the waterfalls over and then uh we've stopped it there because we need to get the main board in before we work out what we're going to do with this last little bit i've got a main switchboard layout as well um like a design it's been approved so yeah that's just got to get bolted, bolted on so it's a nice strong joint and yeah. This is my old school insulation resistance tester. We'll just do a quick little video showing how this works on a, just a small cable, just to demo it. Um, had it for a while. I've got a, a flute clip, so I've got clips on both things and then it obviously comes with the probes as well. It does uh low resistance measurements here and uh it's high insulation resistance tests up the top here so yeah a little video to show you how it works bada bing featuring this handsome fella <laughs> ladies and gentle farts where's the cat where's it here this cable's a little bit munted oh. it's a bit bulgy and fucked looking it's the end of the drum so we've got the old uh analogius mega all right we're just going to give it a test through focus that's looking good mate looking good all right don't zap me you dog good good spiffing Alright, so what does bad reading look like? Okay, so keep it on. We've got a uh, lovely flood puddle here. Alright. Pause. Resume. Okay, so we've got some flood water splashy splashed. Get on. So, pretty damp. All right, let's see if we have a shonky boy shit rating now. Yes, we do. Do we? Yeah. So, <coughs> no good. Shorter ricious, bros. Mm -hmm. All right, so you hold this. Yeah. I'll give you a little shake out, see if it clears it. This is what to do. No, not really. No, still, have we, have we improved? Yes, we have. Yeah? What are we on now? Um. <laughs> <laughs> on <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Where are we now? Okay, so we're hovering between 5 and 10 mega ohms. Now that would pass. Our, our bottom limit is 1 mega ohm. Which is mm. just there. Yeah. So you could turn that on and it'd be legal, but fuck, it's a bit chonky, eh? Yeah. Chonky donkey. All right, so we clear the fault, cut that monkey bit of cable off that's wet. And we go one more time. We're all good. All good skis. All good skis. Nice. There we go. Very nice. Test through complete. Um, this is just cosmetic damage, which is okay. It's going to be in the roof. No one's ever going to see it. 
Uh, the cable's good, so I'm happy to use it for my little link from there. Up and over, down there, and to here. Nice. Just a note on the floods. Um, can been flooded. Uh, pretty gnarly for a few, like we had basically two weeks of just steady rain. And uh, if I, maybe I can look around so it zooms a little better. So over there, we've got a sports ground, if it'll fucking focus. Focus you. Yeah, okay, so basically center where that car is, in between the car and that tin shed, that was all underwater. Um, and up the street here, past that blue um, fencing there, where this car's coming, about there, that's where the water came to. It's unbelievable. There's the, Nep the Nepean River is up there, and it just it just full on overflowed. It was twelve. It was twelve meters over the flood zone. Absolutely nuts, man. I've seen a few floods here in Camden. I've lived in Camden for quite a long time, and this one was probably the biggest one. Sketchy. <laughs> we had the um, had the extension. Here. It was raining for two weeks. We had the extension ladder climbing up and down there, so we didn't have to go out on that scaffold and get drenched, mate. It's ridiculous. All right, so. Mate, the only thing new in here is the lighting. Um, guys have been dropping in loops. There's all down lights out the front here. Uh, there's no Dali nonsense or anything. They're just normal lights. Um, the only tricky thing is with these, um, with the sensors, there's a master and two slave detectors in here, motion detectors. So that's um, something the boys have worked out really. But I mean, if we go around, nothing really new to see. It's just lighting loops. It takes a lot of time. When you're doing it but um and there's some more recovery beds here all right just more lighting loops i'm over here obviously those um the operating room there was already done um into the recovery area here so it's a bit of a mess to be honest it needs a bit of a clean up but okay, all the there was water all in here it was just it's just coming in through the windows you know nothing we could do Heaps and heaps of chip rocks fucked. <laughs> so yeah, got the center line up here. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, this, this actually is going to be built out now because uh, they needed a firewall. Well, they needed to. This, this wall needs to be like a proper firewall. So the firewall goes down. It hoops into here, out to there, and then out to here and through the, and across this door because this is like a cleaning room. Or a storeroom for this section, so they put this put this as part of the firewall. So they're going to build out this as well. So we we haven't missed the boat with our cables getting down. Um, they're actually going to stud out that wall and um, and build it out in another 90 mil, I think, 70 mil studs maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, the fire. What we've done with the fire. So everywhere there's an in sealing detector. We've put up a base. And um, so for all the room, it's, there's a lot of rooms that have these bases. Let's see if we can find a couple more. I haven't done them, so I don't know where. Back out, crew! All right, there's one, there's one. All right, so I'll zoom in a bit. So how we do it, um, if you see on top, there's a... What we do, we use one of these. We use a conduit box, and uh, those screw holes there line up with... Um, with the fixing holes on the detector base. So what we, what, um, well, Luke's been doing it. We put a couple of drill holes in the back and then get one of the hit guns, one of the, the ram set guns, and um, shoot the base up like with two nails, boom, boom, super quick. You can feed in the cables for the loop. So the, the fire detector loop goes into the terminals and then there's a tail that comes out of that from a different terminal. I think it picks up the neutral and then it drops down to the ceiling. So when the ceilings go in, there's one of these in this bunch now is just a, a, t a tail. And that goes to a, what's it called? It's a, it's a, basically a little red LED and it says um, uh, detector status in ceiling, something like that. It just shows when the detector, it flashes when the detector goes off in the ceiling. There are it's a thermal detector in the roof. And uh, I think if it gets to like 70 something degrees, they'll go off. 70 degrees for a certain amount of time. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. One of these guys in the comments will roast me because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but yeah. 
So yeah, doing it with those little boxes, like it, it's quite hard to um, to get the cable. It's, it's hard to get the cables into the base because um, I'll see if I can find one here. This detector is the base. So that's the base there. All right. So, but there's no real access from the bottom. So these are obviously designed for a ceiling, like you've got a ceiling and they get mounted onto the ceiling like that. But when you're doing an in-ceiling detector, having that little bit of space behind the conduit box, mate, it makes it heaps easier. Heaps easier and heaps quicker. I know those boxes, those boxes are about a dollar each, but you're saving, you're saving time drilling. Um, you're saving time mucking around, trying to break off like little um, sections of these boxes. If it's a freaking zoom properly. You know, you've got to knock out like little sections here or something. So just to get a couple of cables in. Yeah, there you go. You're going to knock those out. But then you need a tail out as well. So you're going to knock it one out on the other side. you still got to do the fixing. So it's, I reckon it's probably... I don't know if anyone else does this, mind you. But like we, he sort of just came up with... Like Luke and I sort of just came up with this on the fly. So... <laughs> Off your phone, please. Ah, gotcha. So our messy room here with our um, odds and ends. Um, this room's pretty well sorted now. It's it's messy, but all the cables are where they actually need to be. Um, today I was working on this room here. So this room here is all finished now. All the cables are dropped down in the walls where they need to go, or very close to it. Uh, in the coming week, I've got to get some, start getting this steel conduit to protect the the un-RCD side. So, you know, the, the feed here is coming out of the board in a circuit breaker. Um, and with the rules in Australia, if it's on an RCD, it can be in a wall cavity and there's no issue with protection. But if it's not on an RCD, you need to go like and, and put it either in a... We could either go steel wire uh, and cable or just, you know, sleeve it in the wall with some steel conduit and earth the conduit, I think is probably the easiest way to do it. Though I'm open to suggestions if anyone's got any. Right. Did a little insulation resist test before, that'll probably be on this video maybe. And yeah, got the laptop bag, that's great. Alright. Just me and Andrew today. Look at him, he's jacked. <laughs> Alright, so this room, this room's a better one. After you, mate, come on. He's the one who picks up all these drums. <laughs> I can 500 meter drums. Jesus. Right, so uh, this is a, a lighting control panel. Um, and this this one here, um, it's our MSP7, which I can actually show you. I'll show you on the plan skis here. Right, where are we? So MSP7, um, yeah, it's got a bunch of switches for in-ceiling um, GPOs. So w what we've done is just run a tail. We've got a feed to that to that point, which is going to be there, and then we've got uh, individual tails up to each of the the spots that they need these. That's marked on the plan. Uh, where is one? Is that one? That one there. Say, and then. There's just all over the shop here. There's one here. So they can just turn whatever's going to be in the roof. I'm not sure what it is yet, to be honest. Alright. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, I'm just going through uh, the operating theatres. Um, red tick for feed and blue tick for sub-circuit. And then, once it's totally done, I'll come through and green tick it. When, um, but that's, that's going to be like, we'll drill all the... Um, We'll drill all the noggins out and put the conduits in if they need and everything's going to be you know marked on the floor what height the cables come out because this these rooms are all lead lined there's x-ray stuff going on in them so you know there's gyprock backed lead or lead backed gyprock lead backed gyprock that's what you said right, so yeah i've worked out all these like the joints with the different msps that's all fine it basically was a uh, unprotected feed to each one of the MSPs and then the MSPs have 
or medical switch panels have an RCD built into them and then which you can see if we look on here again so see MSP7 there it's got two RCDs for the pendants uh, MSP5 is another one it's just an, an RCD with some outlets so they were linking between and it, it wasn't really making sense but I've spoken to the engineer and he's cleared a bit of it up um, it's just our data plan we just had to rearrange some of the, the data points because they moved the pendants slightly and in probably the next video they're going to start putting up the mounting plates so there's a cross there there's a big mounting plate for a anesthetic and a surgical pendant right and then in the center it's a small mounting plate but it's for the um, surgical lights so yeah it's pretty full on right and uh this is just part of the fun as well that that was that room that was that room over there that i was working in today Basically every room in this place I've got to go through with our um, site manager and just make sure the points are all in the right spot because the plans that we're working to are a few years old now and they've changed all of the rooms and the layouts in the rooms are slightly different or the equipment's moving so it's a bit of a process but I'm just doing a real crappy sketch little mud map just to show me where everything needs to go and uh, trying to stay on top of it when everyone shows up on Monday. How do I do this, Andy? What? How do I stay on top of everyone? I don't know, I don't know Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, all the boring paperwork side of here. Fuck this shit, all right. Um, what else? Nothing else to report, really, eh? It's just a, just a job, mate. We're here every day, banging out the OT. Saturday crew, you and me. The Saturday crew is pretty piss weak this week. Usually people want the money. Got this speaker, mate. Absolute weapon. Last in the metal all day. This guy hates it. He loves it. He's a rap god. Eminem over here. <laughs> Alright. Alright, boys. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Woo! You're cuter than a ram set gun. So cool. <laughs> Stay on, sweetie. Stay on. Showing the ladies around. Just showing the ladies around. Oh, right. ah. <laughs> You're going on YouTube! <laughs>